Flooding can happen fast and with little warning, but if you know flooding is possible, there are some steps you can take to be more prepared. Stay informed by checking the news. Ensure emergency alerts are enabled on your phone. Be sure you have some bare essentials in case you lose power and water. Have at least three days supply of ready to eat food that doesn't require cooking and a three day supply of water. At a minimum, have one gallon of water per person per day. To prepare for a flood, move important items to a second floor or attic. If that's not possible, put them on top of tables, shelves, or counters to get them off the ground. Accept that you can't save everything. Concentrate on what is easy to move, or expensive or impossible to replace, or things that are important to you. Put clothes, towels, and linens in garbage bags and put them up high. Turn off the gas and anchor any propane or gas tanks to prevent fires and gas leaks. Turn off the water to your home. Pipes that get damaged could burst, making the destruction even worse. Turn off big appliances, such as the refrigerator, stove, washer and dryer, at the breaker panel. Don't forget the water heater. If possible, wrap appliances in heavy duty plastic and tape or tie it on. Flood water will still get in, but mud won't, making it more possible to save the appliances and clean them after. If you have a few days notice of possible evacuation, start using up the fresh and frozen food you have. Before evacuating, empty the refrigerator and freezer and shut them off so you don't come home to rotting food. Check stormwater drains around your house to be sure they are clear. Remove any debris blocking them. Bring in outdoor items so they won't wash away. Either cover or open your basement windows. Flood water will break them. Consider buying and filling sandbags to use in front of doors and ground level windows. During a bad flood, sewage can back up into your home. Install backflow valves to washing machines, bathtubs, sinks, and dishwashers. Close drains and sinks so you don't have sewage or anything else coming up the drains. Flood waters can contaminate tap water. During or after a flood, Check if the water is safe to drink, especially if you have a well. Evaluate where you park your car. If it's in the low ground, move your car to higher ground, like an elevated parking garage or a hill. If you have to evacuate, pack only the essentials, especially if you must evacuate by foot. Watch our other video on building an emergency kit for a list of everything you should have in case of emergency and what you need to bring if you evacuate. Bring bottled water and non-perishable food a change of clothes, sturdy shoes, toiletries, medications, important documents, some cash, cell phones, and chargers. If possible, bring a flashlight, batteries, and a whistle for signaling for help in case you get stranded. Put items inside a garbage bag to help keep them dry, then place in a sturdy backpack or in a plastic tub. If evacuating on foot, obviously cut down to only what you really need. Never leave pets behind to fend for themselves. Bring pet food and water, a kennel and shot records with you when you leave. Make sure they're microchipped and your contact information is up to date. When evacuating, check the news for road closures. If you come to a flooded road, do not drive through it. Only a few inches of flowing water can wash a car away. Remember, turn around, don't drown. If you're in a car that becomes surrounded by water, get onto the roof of the vehicle and shout for help or call emergency services. If you are evacuating on foot, avoid walking through water. If you have no choice, make sure the water is not flowing and you know how deep it is. Be cautious of invisible underwater hazards that might trap you, trip you, or cut you. Flood water can be contaminated with bacteria, fecal matter, chemicals, and other hazards you don't want on your skin. Avoid touching the water if you can and wash once you're somewhere safe. Be sure to carry children to keep them out of flood water and don't let them play in it. If flash flooding occurs while you are in your home and you require urgent rescue, get out onto your roof. Do not go into an attic because floodwaters can trap you there. If you must go to the attic, bring an axe or something you can use to cut your way out if necessary. If you need urgent evacuation, call emergency services. Emergency response can be overwhelmed during a massive crisis. If you cannot get through, then use social media like Facebook or Twitter to request help. Include important information, such as your address, how many people are with you, and any special circumstances, such as people with disabilities or young children in your group. Many were saved during recent flooding because brave people took their personal boats and went out to rescue others. 
Help others if you can, but be careful so you don't become another person requiring rescue. Be sure to bring appropriate safety equipment, such as a life vest and helmet, when working in flood conditions. Now that you know what to do in case of a flood, talk to your friends and family about how to prepare and share this video with them. Take steps now to make a plan and assemble an emergency kit so if a flood happens, you will be ready. If this video was helpful, please click like and subscribe. You can watch more videos from Education World here.